What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priest, High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, Pisces, um, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future, for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for sign of Pisces. This can resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Midheaven, Jupiter charts. Don't forget, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply to that plot, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading for Sound of Pisces. It's an oracle card reading for mid-April of 2022. Um, just saying, just saying. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. Um, I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 12,175 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I truly appreciate it. Just saying, just saying. Uh, from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. Um, just saying, just saying. Okay. So I received a couple messages in as I was meditating on your uh, mid-April of 2022 um, Oracle card reading. The first message I received was demonetized was the first one. Spirit messages you have to sign faces. Demonetized was the first one. Um, the second one, I heard a uh, Pisces uh, a Pisces family member is going to try to um, attack a Leo feminine soon. It's about to seriously backfire. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. And the third one I heard was um, a Taurus feminine is about to contact a Pisces feminine soon to... Um, Spirit messages you have a sign of Pisces. Um, to co secretly collaborate, to conspire against a fire sign feminine, it would not be a smart idea. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Intuitively, you know this. That's why I just heard just now. Intuitive, intuitively, you know this. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates, Pisces. Um, very interesting messages. So demonetized was the first one. Spirit messages you have a sign of Pisces. So, um, for anybody who doesn't know, demonetize, I think whoever that's for, whether it could be for you or somebody you're connected to, but I think they have a public platform on YouTube, uh, whoever that's for, or another public platform, not YouTube. Um, demonetization is basically um, on YouTube, it basically is where you're not able to profit off of video or videos. Um, demonetize. It means you're not able to be monetized for your content. Um, so I don't know if that's for you or somebody you're connected to, but some kind of demonetization energy, um, to me, that could be upcoming energy or already past energy. That's all I heard was demonetize, a demonetization. So it could be for you or somebody you're connected to, past energy, uh, future energy, present energy, however that resonates, um, some kind of demoniz demonetization energy. And I heard a Pisces family member is going to try to attack. I heard a um, Leo Fem soon, um, but it's about the backfire. So Leo Fem energy, um, if this resonates for you, Pisces, um, you can be masculine or fem, I'm feeling, but um, it's a Leo Fem, your family member is going to try to attack. I heard attack. So I don't know if that is a um, physical attack or if that is a verbal attack or if that is um, sneaky, strategic, behind the scenes attack. Um, however, that resonates. Um, some kind of attack energy with, holy crap, look at this. So maybe one of you guys is emotional about person, people, place, or situation or someone is emotional over you or over person, people, place, or situation. Or you could have addictions or someone you're connected to could have addictions. Um, when the cards fly out like this, um, they've done this in several signs this round, by the way, not just yours. Um, but when the cards fly out like this, they could signify either you having addictions or someone you're connected to having addictions. Or you being emotional over person, people, place, family, or situation or someone you're connected to. Being emotional over person, people, place, family, or situation. How that resonates in one's life, Pisces. Um, but back to the second message. Um, one of you guys' family member, I heard, wants to attack a Leo Finn. Le attack a Leo Finn. Now, I don't know if that's physical attack, verbal attack, um, 
sneaky strategic behind the scenes attack. I'm not sure. Um, this person is a Leo feminine. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in him Jupiter charts. However, that resonates. But I heard it's going to seriously backfire. So, um, however, that resonates. And then the third one is um, a Taurus fam um, is about to contact a Pisces soon. I heard behind the scenes to um, uh, try to collaborate with some Pisces uh, to try to um, sneakily um, strategize, strategize some kind of behind the scenes nasty energy towards a fire sign fam. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard intuitively, you know, that's not a good idea. So um, if that resonates for you, Pisces, you're highly intuitive. You know, it's not a good idea. Now, of course, you have free will to collaborate with this Taurus feminine to do this or not. However, this resonates in one's life. Um, whoever you are, um, Pisces. But it's a Taurus fam about to contact you um, regarding that. Is what it sounds like. So you plug it in how it resonates. You got three. Usually I only take two of those, but I'll take the third. Spare messages you have for the sign of Pisces. Okay, number 11, 41, or 43, or 24, or 7 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 11, 41, 43, 24, or 7, it could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible age of children of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, 11, 41, 43, 24, 7. Um, you could be dealing with Wow, you have triple air sign energy in here, uh, Pisces. Triple air sign energy. Holy crap, I've never seen that in Oracle card reading ever. Triple air sign energy. Uh, I think for one of you guys, you're definitely dealing with air sign. For some of you guys, two plus air signs. I mean, I've never seen triple air sign energy in an Oracle card reading ever I've done. I'm serious. A strong air sign. Strong, strong, strong air sign energy. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could, um, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Mid, Ham, and Jupiter charts. For some, I strongly feel you're dealing with two plus air signs. I mean, I'm serious. You have got three air sign cards in here. All three of your animal spirit cards. All three. Wow. Butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful. A Scorpio is exiting out of a Pisces life, Piscean's life. Okay, I heard a Scorpio is exiting out of a Piscean's life. And a Piscean is about to exit out of a Sagittarius's life. You are not to, you are about not to expect this. Okay, I heard a um so a Scorpio is exiting out of your life, Pisces. It sounds like you are expecting this um, in some shape, form, or fashion is what I'm feeling, if this resonates for you. It could be a masculine or fifth Scorpio. They could have Scorps in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Mid, and Energy for Charts, if this resonates for you. But it sounds like you're not expecting to exit out of a Sagittarius's life. Now, whoever this Sag is and how they resonate in your life, it could be a masculine or fifth Sag. Um, it sounds like through many series of chain of events, it doesn't sound like you are expecting this, but it's transformation here. Um, now, however, you are connected to the Sag, but it sounds like un unexpected transformation here. Um, they could have Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Venus North, Moon, Ben, Haver, Jupiter charts, so this resonates for you. But definite transformation energy, Scorpionic and Sagittarius energy for sure, for at least one of you guys in the universe. Okay.
love is all around. I not a nightclub is about to become very significant for one particular Pisces Piscean. Significant events are going to happen at this nightclub. Okay. I heard a nightclub is very significant for one particular Piscean. Significant events are going to happen at this nightclub. For some, you could be going to this nightclub with an air sign. Because, uh, I mean, you have got three air sign cards. Somebody's dealing with the air sign. And I mean heavy. I'm just being pro pro. Um, but whether you're going to the nightclub with the air sign or not, um, you are going to an air sign, to a nightclub. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. Um, sounds like you're about to go to a nightclub. Um, some kind of significant events are going to happen at this nightclub. So love is all around. Um, for some, I feel you could be single and maybe um, you get hit on um, is what I'm feeling. Or you get many love offers at this nightclub. Or um, somebody tries to put dollar bills in your G-string. I mean, hell, I don't know. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but loving energy, um, I feel people are going to try to hit on you with this nightclub. I don't feel true loving energy. I feel they want some yum yum love, like what love. And I'm just being pro pro. I mean, it's a nightclub for goodness sakes. Just saying, just saying. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, I didn't hear anything. A significant drag queen is very significant in a air um, in a Piscean's life. Air sign drag queen. A significant drag queen is very significant in a um, Piscean's life. An air sign dra drag queen. Okay, I felt there was air sign energy in here. I just did. A significant air sign drag drag queen is very significant in a Piscean's life. So maybe you're going to this nightclub with this um, air sign drag queen, or you meet an air sign drag queen at the nightclub. Um, however that resonates. But some kind of significant events are going to happen at the nightclub. Somehow air sign drag queen is significant to one of you guys. So you plug it in how it resonates. One message may resonate. Two plus may resonate. None may resonate. Owl spirit, you see clear, clearly now. A Pisces has been holding a huge secret from a Leo feminine. Huge. Another person's channel. This person, this Leo feminine is about to find out from someone else. Know this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a um, Piscean has been holding a huge secret from a Leo fem. Um, it sounds like the huge secret is somebody else's channel. Um in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but I heard the Leo Femme is about to find out from someone else. So um, it doesn't sound like she's about to find out from you, Pisces. It sounds like the Leo Femme is about to find out from somebody else about this other person's um, channel. But you already know about this other person's channel. But you have, it sounds like you have strategically not been um, saying anything about this other person's channel to this Leo Femme. But you know this Leo Femme in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but you haven't been saying anything for a reason. I feel it might be an air signs channel. Possibly. You have three air sign cards and I'm just being for real. It might be air sign drag queen for all we know, or just an uh, air sign or somebody else, but it is definitely somebody else's channel and you were strategic, strategically hiding the information from a Leo Femme. That is for sure, for sure. If that resonates for you, Pisces. Um, so you, you see clearly now is basically, um, I think. In this aspect, I think it's the Leo Femme about to see clearly. Or you see clearly that the Leo Femme knows you're hiding something from her. However, that resonates in one's life, Piscean. If that resonates for you. She could have Leo in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Behavior, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you. I 
A positive STD test is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. A positive STD test is about to become very significant in a uh, Pisces life. So you plug it in how it resonates. And a Piscean that has recently been pregnant within the last three months is about to find out they're pregnant again. Will not be able to travel as quickly as last time to get an abortion. Oh my Lord. Oh my God. So dear God Almighty. You plug it in hot resident. Holy crap. Oh, whoa. So somebody's been getting around and getting around quick. I'll tell you that. Um, whoa. Whoever this is for, it's a Piscean femme. They have been pregnant within the last three. Well, okay. Let's back up. Holy crap. Okay, so a STD, positive STD test is about to become pre um, significant in one, at least one in Piscean's life. It could be masculine or femme. Somebody's about to acquire STD. It could be masculine or femme Pisces. Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the midnight, Jupiter. That's the first one. The second one, it's a Pisces femme, and they have been pregnant within the last three months, I heard. Um, but they're about to find out they're pregnant again. Um, but I heard they will not be able to travel as quickly this time to go get an abortion like they did last time. So whatever Pisces this is, it's Pisces femme. It could be you or somebody you're connected to, but two pregnancies within the last three months, I'll tell you that. The, it sounds like the previous pregnancy, they went and traveled quickly to some kind of abortion clinic to go get the abortion. But it sounds like a series of chain of events, they're about to find out they're pregnant again. This could be you or somebody you're connected to. They're about to find out they're pregnant again, Pisces femme. Uh, but they will not be able to travel as quickly this time to go find out, uh, to go get an abortion. Um, so something is about to deter them um, to be able to frequent this abortion clinic. Uh, like they did quickly the last time. But two pregnancies within the last three months, but it sounds like the last pregnancy they have aborted. But they're about to find out they're pregnant again. So uh, that could be the you see clearly now too, whether it's you finding out, whether it's you knowing about this Piscean that's about to end up pregnant again and they've had two pregnancies in the last three months and they aborted the last one, or you are this Piscean them. However, this resonates, but somebody's about to see clearly about the situation, whether it's you that's in the situation or somebody you're connected to, um, and you know this person, however this resonates. This is some serious crap right here. Holy crap. Mm -mm -mm. An investigator is about to become very significant in Piscean's life, this time investigating a water sign. And an air sign. Okay, I heard an, investi an investigator is about to become very significant in a uh, Piscean's life, this time investigating a water sign and an air sign. Um, so I feel this could either go positively or negatively for you, Piscean. Um, you could be manifesting this investigator into your life, or either you want them in your life, like you have manifested them in, you've contacted a uh, a branch or a agency or something to have them into your life or you got pulled into it and you didn't want to deal with this investigator however this resonates um i feel it can go both ways there but somehow this investigator is about to become a part of your life whether you manifested it in there free willingly or not um i heard this time they're about to investigate a air sign and a water sign so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine or feminine. I don't feel it's you they're about to investigate. I feel it's somebody else. Um, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, him, and Jupiter charts. But somehow you're about to be in this investigation, whether you are manifesting this investigator in or you're being pulled into the investigation. However, that resonates in one's life, Piscean. Whew. Star guaranteed success. A particular Piscean is about to pull out the tarot card reading game. About to focus on a different business idea. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. 
A particular Piscean is about to pull out of the tarot card reading game. I heard about to focus on a different business idea. So if this resonates with you, you're a Pisces and you're in the tarot card reading game, you can be masculine or feminine, I'm feeling, but you're about to pull out. You're about to pull out the tarot, I heard the tarot card reading game. So I feel whoever this is for, you probably have um, been in it a minute or you've been in it and you haven't been experiencing success and you feel like your success can come from different avenues, um, if that resonates for you. Um, I think you feel that you can have guaranteed success and success and et cetera, et cetera, in different avenues or different business avenues. So you plug it in how it resonates. And one particular Piscean feminine tarot card reader is about to experience huge success, huge. Okay, I heard one particular uh, Piscean femme tarot card reader is about to experience huge success, huge. African-American Piscean. African-American Piscean is what I heard. So you're African-American Piscean, femme tarot card reader. You're about to experience, I heard double confirmation, huge success, huge. So um, one of you guys is, uh, you're African-American tarot card reader and you're about to experience huge success, huge. And one, you're a Piscean tarot card reader, masculine or femme, I'm feeling, and you're about to pull out the tarot card reading game because you want to focus on different, business ideas and business sectors. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. For some, you could be dealing with an Aquarius because we have the star energy or not. If you are, they could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, full them and Hammer Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you. Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. A particular Piscean is about to invest in therapy. They feel they need it. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, you know, the way I look at it is um, if, you, if you feel you need it, then, you know, absolutely. Um, it's when people force things upon people is when I have a problem. Um, but if you feel you need therapy, then absolutely, um, you know, more power to you, whoever that's for, um, you're a Piscean energy and I heard you feel you need therapy and you're about to invest in it. So, um, if that resonates for you, um, I think you're about, um, this is a therapy energy, um, mental health treatment here. Um, I heard you feel you need therapy and you're about to do it. You're about to take action and do it. So mental health treatment here, um, therapy route. So you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. And a particular Piscean's relationship, sexual relationship with a Gemini is about to become very, very, very public to a Sagittarius feminine. The shit is about to hit the fan, know this. Oh my Lord, whoa. Ooh, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Yikes, yikes. That was, cool. So um, there's a Pisces femme in some kind of secret sexual relationship with the Gemini. Masculine, I'll tell you that. Oh, um, but a Sag femme is about to find out. Um, and I heard the shit's about to hit the fan. So I think the Sag femme is a spouse of this Gemini masculine or a committed partner of the Gemini masculine or a um, fiance or a girlfriend. Because um, we have Sag Femme energy in here, Gemini masculine energy, and then you, Pisces Femme. Um, I heard that Sag Femme is about to find out and the shit's about to hit the fan. So I think she's either a legally married spouse, a committed partner, a live-in, or a fiance or a girlfriend. Um, I think you're the third party. Um, I heard the shit's about to hit the fan. So maybe... The, Maybe this is you um, feeling you might need therapy once the hit, shit hits the fan because she's not going to like this. I'm telling you that right freaking now. She's not going to like this. Um, and I think things are about to get heated, maybe between you and her. I think you and her might be friends or used to be friends before she found out that you have been sleeping with her person. Um, just saying whether they're legally married or not. Um, they're together. <laughs> Um, because there's a reason the shit's about to hit the fan. I'm just telling you that right now. I think you y'all used to be frenzies, or you pretended to be frenzies, or something, but you were sleeping with him. Secret sexual relationship, for goodness sakes. Situationship, third party, all over the place. 
So that uh, maybe you were the one about to get therapy services, feeling you need therapy services when all the shit basically about to, about to blow up because it is about to blow up, blow up. Just saying, just saying. However, that resonates. Um, woo. This Sagittarius feminine is about to go on a war path. Know this. In many aspects. Oh, my Lord. I heard the Sag fem is about to go on a war path. Know this. Um, so she's about not to play around, Pisces fem. If you're the secret sexual partner of this Gemini masculine, only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, she's about to go on a freaking war path. So um, I think she might be a legally married spouse or a fiance or a girlfriend. And I'm just being for real. She ain't going to like it. Um, and yikes. And you're the third party or the situationship or how maybe you're, I don't know. I don't know what y'all are. Only you know what you are to her, um, to him and to her and whatever. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, but I think you're about to have some mental stress over this. Um, hopefully you don't get a butt whooping over this. Hopefully it's not physical. Um, but she's about to go on a war path. So just saying, just saying, the Sag fam is. Woo. Travel to the mountain soon. Okay, I heard travel to the mountain soon. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Travel to the mountain soon. So that could be you traveling to the mountain soon, Pisces, or someone you're connected to traveling to the mountain soon. Some kind of traveling to the mountain soon energy, whether it's you traveling to the mountain soon or someone you're connected to traveling to the mountains. Um, that In that aspect, it is journey physically. Somebody's about to physically travel to the mountains, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Well, great worry over nothing. A Pisces is about to be shocked. A Taurus feminine is about to lose her job. You think this Taurus feminine is going to throw you under the bus? But she is not. But she is going to throw other people under the bus. Know this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so if this resonates for you, Pisces, a Taurus feminine is about to lose her job. A Taurus fem. She can have Taurus in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or moon, and Hamer, Jupiter charts. Uh, whoever this Taurus is and how she replies in your life, Taurus. I'm sorry, not Taurus, Pisces. Um, but I heard you're worried that she's going to throw you under the bus. So you have been connected to her in some kind of shiesty something, something, something. Um, but, um, I heard she's not going to, she's not going to throw you under the bus. Uh, you can be masculine fan Pisces. She's not going to throw you under the bus, but she's going to throw several other people under the bus, but not you. Um, so I think you're worried she's going to throw you under the bus. Um, cause she's about to get terminated. It sounds like, it sounds like a wrongful termination and not, uh, I'm mean, not a wrongful termination termination. It sounds like it's a rightful termination and not a wrongful termination. And, um, it sounds like she's rightfully about to be terminated. Um, and you're connected in some kind of deep, dark, dooku with stuff with her, either in the past or currently, but you're afraid she's going to throw you under the bus. You're worried she's going to throw you under the bus. Great worry over nothing, but she's not, but I heard she's going to throw several other people under the bus. So if not you, she's going to about throw under the bus, but it's several other people. It's Taurus Femme. Um, she works out in the 3D in some kind of workplace situation. Um, however, that resonates in your life, Pisces. You could be masked one in Pisces if, if that resonates for you. Hmm. 
Okay, I didn't hear anything else. I didn't hear anything else, okay? Um, flow. A particular Pisces is worried they're about to get in the middle of a lawsuit. Pisces masculine. Doctor. But you are not. Know this. There will be another doctor in the middle of a lawsuit, but it will not be you. Oh, Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So you're a Pisces masculine doctor, if this resonates for you. Um, I heard you're worried you're about to get in the middle of a lawsuit, but I heard you're not going to. You're not going to, you're not going to be in the middle of a lawsuit. But there is another doctor about to be in the middle of a lawsuit, but it's not you. But you're a Pisces masculine doctor, if this reson resonates for you. Um, you're worried you're about to be in the middle of a lawsuit, but it's not you. It's another doctor, it sounds like, about to be in, in the middle of a lawsuit. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Ooh. Flow. A Pisces plumber is about to become very significant in fire sign feminine's life soon. Very positive influence. She will pay it forward to you, know this. In many ways, positively. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard a Pisces fem plumber is about to become very significant in a fire sign fem's life soon. Um, she will pay it forward to you in many ways. Um, know this, positive ways. So um, I don't feel it's like creepy, you know, weird, raunchy ways. I feel like I'm feeling like referral energy. Um, I'm feeling you're not like a, you can be a masculine fem Pisces um, plumber, whoever you are, uh, masculine fem Pisces plumber. Um, but you're about to become significant in a fire sign fem's life. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fem's life. Um, I think she's about to contact you for service or services is what I'm feeling. Um, she's got some kind of plumbing issue or is about to have some kind of plumbing issue. She could have Aries, Leo, Sag, and her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine here with Jupiter. But um, she's about to, have, uh, she either has plumbing, current plumbing issues, or she's about to have plumbing issues. But you are a Piscean plumber, and it sounds like she's about to contact you um, for service or services. Um, but it sounds like it's about to go very positively between you and this um, fire sign fem. So much so, I heard she's going to pay to you, uh, pay it for to you positively in many ways. So I think she might refer you. If you do, um, it sounds like you're going to do good work for her. Um, it sounds like you're going to treat her right. It doesn't sound like you're a domineering kind of person and trying to take advantage of a female like some people do out in the universe. It sounds like you're going to be fair and treat her right. And she's going to know this. Um, I feel she's highly intuitive, this fire sign fem. Um, but I heard she's going to pay it forward to you positively in many ways. So I think she's going to refer you. Um, I think she's going to tell other people about you and your services in a positive way. And I think she's going to refer you. And she might even leave possibly a positive comment if you have a um, website or something, possibly. You are a, a Piscean plumber. You could have Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Fem, mid Henry, Jupiter charts. And this aspect of flow, I think, is... Um, plumbing issues here um some kind of plumbing issues backup or it could be septic tank septic tank issues um pipe issues uh uh busted pipes um however that resonates but flow in this aspect i think is flow or lack of flow of water in pipes or septic tank issues um how are that resonates A Piscean feminine and a 
Libra Feminine has been trying to really do heavy dark arts behind the scenes on a Leo Feminine, their birth chart. However, it's not going to work. Know this. Holy crap. Whoa. You've got heavy Leo Femme energy in here, Piscean, if this re resonates for you. Um, a Piscean Femme and a um, Leo, um, no, I'm sorry, not a Leo Femme, a Piscean Femme and a Libra Femme um, has been secretly behind the scenes doing, um, trying to do work, basically dark arts work on a Leo Femme. Um, I heard their birth chart, but I heard it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's actually about to backfire. It's actually about to backfire. Um, so somehow you have acquired this Leo Femme's birth chart. Either you or this Libra and Femme have acquired this um, Leo Femme's birth chart, um, Piscean Femme. Um, or you think you have. You either have acquired the real birth chart or you think you have acquired it. But however that resonates, it's about to backfire on you. Just know this. Um, whoever you are, according to the spiritual realm, uh, just let so you know. So in this aspect, flow is... Um, the energy about to flow back onto you because it's about to backfire on you. You're trying to do some work on this um, Leo Femme behind the scenes. Um, but this is energetic flow about to energetically backfire onto you because um, you either you either have the right birth chart and it's just going to backfire or you have the wrong birth chart. And it, um, how that resonates. Happiness. It's about to backfire in a way you do, will never expect, ever. Okay, I heard it's about to backfire in a way you will never expect, ever. So somehow, this backfiring energy is about, um, you're trying to do work on a Leo Femme with her birth chart, secretly behind the scenes, so I don't think you're telling anybody, but you're in collaboration with the Libra Femme doing this. Um, but, um, it's about to backfire in a way you would never expect. So I think this is energetic flow about to backfire on you in a way you never expected is what I'm feeling. It's a Piscean fam and a Libra fam doing secret behind the scenes birth chart work on a Leo fam. Wow. Happiness. A Piscean masculine is about to have a hot tub installed in their home soon. Very private, gated community. It's about to make them very happy. Wow, you go with your bad self, Piscean masculine, whoever you are. And whoever you are, I don't think you're broke, I'll tell you that. You're either a trust fund baby or... Um, you make good money, however that resonates, but, um, you live in the gated community and you're about to have a, a hot tub installed. So obviously you have the money to have it installed, whether hell it was given to you through generations or you've earned it. Um, I'll tell you that. Um, but you live in a gated community and you're about to have a hot tub installed. It's about to make you very happy. So happiness. Um, yeah, it made me freaking happy too. If I was able to have a hot tub installed in my home or not in my home, but probably in my backyard is where I play, but, um, you plug it in how it resonates. You go with your bad self, Piscean masculine. One particular feminine energy really makes a Piscean masculine very happy, but he does not know how to express it to her. He will probably figure out a very creative way to do it soon. Okay. Okay. Piscean masculine. Um, I heard a um, fem feminine energy makes you very happy um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, whoever this fem energy is and how she plugs in your life, only you know your story, Pisces masculine, anybody else. So you have to plug it in, uh, this person in your life, however they resonate, this fem energy. Um, but I heard um, you haven't figured out how to tell her she makes you happy. Um, she has no clue, basically. She has no clue she makes you happy. Um, you haven't told her, you haven't opened up your throat chakra to tell her, um, she has no clue, basically, uh, because you haven't told her, um, but I heard you're about to, soon you'll probably find a creative way to tell her, so, 
whatever the creative way it is, you're about to tell her. Um, however it is, you're about to creatively figure out how to tell it, is what I'm trying to say. Um, wow. Um, okay. These are, that's pretty good. Just saying. You're Pisces masculine. You've got Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, and Hayward, Jupiter charts, if that resonates for you. A Piscean lawyer is about to get extremely ill soon. Extremely. So ill, they will be hospitalized. Huge medical issues here. Huge. And they're just going to get worse. Oh, that's not happiness. That is not happiness. Oh, so you plug it in how it resonates. I think, oh, Lord. I think that's this. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I think that's this. Um, a Piscean masculine a lawyer, I heard, is about to get severely ill. So much so, he's about to get uh, be hospitalized. And I heard it's it's going to do nothing but get worse. It's going to do nothing but get worse. It's some kind of very serious medical condition, whatever the crap it is. I didn't hear what it is, but it's something very serious and very medical, it sounds like. Um, I heard it's going to do nothing but get worse. So I wonder what it is. Um, I didn't hear specifically what it is. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Uh, this is a journey um, physically, I think, because uh, I think it's some kind of medical condition. And then seeing clearly about the medical condition arising, hospitalization, and getting worse, possibly, um, is what I'm feeling here. It's about to be so bad, he might have to drop out of practice. It will probably happen. And create many series of chain of events. Okay, I heard it will be so bad. He will probably have to drop out of practice. And um, create many series of chain of events. So, oh, it might be so bad. It's about to ne negatively affect his career. Um, whoever this Piscean lawyer is. 50 and above Piscean lawyer. 50 and above Piscean lawyer. 50 and above Piscean masculine lawyer. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So it's a 50 and above Piscean masculine lawyer um, that this is about to happen to. Holy crap. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Yikes. That's definitely not happiness. Let me see if I hear anything else. A Piscean masculine, high vibrational Piscean masculine is about to report uh, Aquarius occultist soon. Know this. Oh, my Lord. I heard a Piscean masculine, high vibrational Piscean masculine. So if this resonates for you, your high vibrational Piscean masculine, I heard you're about to report uh, Aquarius occultist leader soon. Uh, Aquarius occultist leader? Uh, what the hell is an Aquarius occultist leader? I don't know. Uh, I think of, um, this is not funny. I'm kind of like smiling, but it's not funny. Um, I think of like David Koresh or something like that. I mean, is it like a David Koresh situation? It's not funny. It's not funny. But I'm serious. I think of like David Koresh or something like that. Um, or not. Um, it's an Aquarius masculine occult. I'm not masculine. I didn't hear if it was masculine or feminine. It's an Aquarius occultist leader. Whoever this Aquarius occultist leader is. I didn't hear if they're masculine or feminine, but you know about them, Piscean masculine. You're about to report them um, for something. Whatever you're about to report them. Um, it's really not funny, and I shouldn't have laughed. I'm serious. I should not have laughed. But um, it sounds, in all seriousness, it sounds like it's some kind of dark art stuff um i didn't hear it was but it, i feel dark arts energy there um i don't i like you know i mean i'm heavy into spirituality but have i ever once in my life ever practiced on the dark side ever no no never um ever but 
you know, occultism can go, um, it can go on the light side or the dark side. This I feel is dark side, like heavy, like, like I feel like cultist activity, not occultist, like cult like activity. I heard a cult leader, but I think it's a dark side. He, um, he or she uses dark arts, like dark arts and cultist type activity um, is what I'm feeling. And it's going to make you very happy to record it. Very high vibrational Pisces masculine is what I'm feeling. Whoever this Aquarius is and how this, uh, this person applies in your life. They could have Aquarius, Venus, you know, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midday, with Jupiter charts. I don't feel good vibes from that, is what I'm trying to say. I don't feel good vibes at all. At all, not at all. Um, I feel dark side energy there. But I think you're highly intuitive, high vibrational Pisces masculine, and you know this person is dark side, like all the way. Um, and I do feel like cult, like C U L T, like activity there. Um, but I think you know there is, and you're about to report it. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling. A Pisces masculine is about to ask out a feminine energy on a date soon. In a very creative way. Okay, I heard a Pisces masculine is about to ask out a feminine energy on, uh, on a date soon in a very creative way. So you plug it in how it resonates in your own life. Wow. Um, Pisces masculine. Um, I think it's about to make you very happy to ask out a uh, femme energy on a date. Hopefully she accepts. Um, if you, I mean, obviously I'm assuming you want her to accept. Um, but you're about to, um, you, you're about to use, utilize your creativity in a very positive copacetic manner here. Uh, it sounds like you're put a, about to put a lot of thought and effort into it. Um, whoever you are, that's really beautiful. Just saying, just saying. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.